I'm John Schrader. We are historic biblical Baptist missionaries based in Zambia on the continent of Africa. But my family and I live in the country of Zambia. The nation of Zambia is considered sub-Saharan and we are south of the capital of Lusaka. And it is surrounded by eight nations, Angola, the Congo, Tanzania, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Namibia. So we are there in Africa, in Zambia, preaching the glorious gospel of Christ. We'd like to now show you our display table and let you take it. This is our original display, and you can see from the center here that this is how our family looked when we were going to Zambia in 2014. That's when we arrived. So this picture is really from 2013, end of 2012. This is our family now and our current prayer card, and we've added a few children since then. So we now are blessed with 12 children at this time, eight sons and four daughters. And at this time, our oldest is almost 18. That's Ian knock down to the baby who's not pictured on this card that's little Joseph I just want to share with you some of the things on the table here and we've got some other family pictures and on the board there's pictures of our ministry which is going to be hard to see but let me just share with you some of the items on the table starting with our alligator head and I got this to give our prayer cards out a holder for our prayer card I I thought that would be a fun way for people to collect one, and it was fun on deputation to watch people be hesitant to reach in. But we don't have crocodiles in Zambia. We, have, uh, we, we don't have alligators in Zambia. We have crocodiles. Now, just a few things on the table. If you watch our testimony video, you'll see the tools that we shared a little bit about that. And these are the traditional building tools. And the ads has been used. Noah used an ads and his sons and the traditional Zambian homemade knife. So so those are talked about in our other testimony video. This is a broom that's made from a root and they'll just pull it apart, the fibers there, and then weave the handle and then they'll sweep the dust. And I, I found that very unique and interesting when we went to Zambia that they would sweep the soil, sweep the dust. And I asked why and they explained to me and it makes sense that if they're out and someone comes to visit, they can see the footprints or even more importantly, if a snake comes and decides to visit and goes in the house, then they can see the trail. And we didn't know that, and so we actually have killed a cobra inside, a spitting cobra inside of our rental house, and quite a few in the yard of the houses that we've rented while living there. Now the kids love their toys, and uh, this is a wire-made vehicle. This is a Toyota Hilux, and Enoch made this in the same fashion that the Zambian boys make it, even with opening doors. And they're very creative, making their own uh, toys and their own playthings. And so that was made by our oldest son, Enoch. And here's a doll, and the girls uh, don't usually... I have a doll like this. They can't afford it, but this is a doll that some might can have and made there with the baby being carried in the Chitanje on the back. And that's the way the mothers do carry their babies there in Zambia. We've got some other things here, some instruments and some animals. This is uh, the frog that we have there, and it sounds exactly like this. When you hear them in a pond or if you're near a body of water... only they're much louder. They're incredibly loud and they've got them in other places like Mexico, but we have them there in Africa. And they're very good at carving and making things. This is malachite and malachite is uh, uh, comes when they mine the copper. Zambia is known as an exporter of copper. It's one of their main mineral exports and this is what it looks like when it comes off of the copper next to it and then they will take that and they'll carve beautiful things like this little frog. And we do have poison poisonous toads there, but you can see that they just did a beautiful job shaping and carving, and it is beautiful when it's polished. They'll make things out of beads, like this bracelet, and this is a hand-carved bowl which has the big five. That would be the water buffalo, the elephant, 
right? We also have the lion and the leopard. And so these are what, what is called the big five. Now, the most deadliest animal is this animal right here. It's not the snake. It's not the black or green mamba, although they're very deadly. It's actually the hippo. And the hippo is very territorial. Our former neighbor used to uh, go and collect the dead bodies out of the river. And that was his job. He finally had to quit. It was too much. But the, the hippos are very territorial. And so if you come into their area, then they will kill you. They'll just leave you because they won't eat you. They're herbivores, but the deadliest animal in Africa. So just as we showed you on the map there, this is the big five again. The elephant, the rhinoceros, the lion, the water buffalo, and the leopard. And this is the continent of Africa. And we're right about here in Zambia. And again, the shape of Zambia somebody has observed is like a baby in the womb. So they like to carve those, what they call the big five. And so that's just a map of Zambia. And again, we're located right about here, south of Lusaka, Zambia, the capital. Just a few other things that I'd like to show you on our table. These are the cooking, cooking sticks, and uh, this is a handmade one. Well, they're, they're all handmade, but this is made very roughly and rudely by a village headman. And his name was Headman Pinwell, and he was in Shisobe Village. Shisobe means we are lost. And I wrote the quote on this stick. He gave this to me as a gift, and I wrote the quote. He said, I want to know how to enter the kingdom of God. The people were not interested in that village. The, the village name, Chisobe, we are lost, is a very appropriate name. But he said, don't stop coming until I know the word of God. And we didn't stop going to that village, Chisobe village, until he said, now I understand. And this is just a Mukwa version of that. Of course, much more beautiful African hardwood so that's the cooking spoons and they will cook their daily meal they eat it every day in fact they don't believe they've eaten until they've eaten this meal and they take the maize dried maize a type of corn they dry it they grind it at the hammer mill then they boil a pot of water they start mixing it in stirring it in adding more and more it gets thicker and thicker until they're rolling it over the edge of the pot and then it gets so thick that they can scoop it into lumps and then they'll break off a piece of that, roll it into a ball in their palm, put a dimple in it, and then they'll scoop up some of the vegetables like cabbage, tomato, and onion. And so that's their cooking, st cooking spoon or cooking stick. And those sticks can get even five feet tall if they're having a big pot of Shima for a large group. Well, I just want to share with you a couple more things on the table. Uh, we print our own tracks, and this is an example of our track in English, and we've translated that into multiple languages. There are 72 languages in Zambia, and so this is our track, First Get Lost, Then You Can Be Saved. And we are trying to help people to understand, number one, what it means to be lost before they can understand what it means to be saved. And so... The last thing that I want to mention to you, apart from one Bible, there are seven main languages out of those 72 languages. And these, these Bibles, translated into the vernacular, are very much like the NIV, or like even the, the uh, Good News, which is missing entire verses, and many thousands of words changed. And so, this particular language, if you go to, for example, Acts 8.37, it's gone. If you go to 1 John 5, 7, it has three words. The rest of the verse is missing. And so these Bibles are not pure Bibles. They've been translated from the Westcott Hort texts, which were from Catholic texts. And so one of our passions and desires is to see God raise us, see pure Bible translations. I'll leave you with one more story. This is a horse tail. And this is it's just, it's just for flies. Uh, made out of horse tail. But they have very beautiful hardwood handles and very, very, very nice versions of this for the African chiefs. And God allowed an African chief, before he was appointed a senior chief, to visit our church for about a year. And then he was appointed a senior chief in Western Province. This is a symbol of their authority. And God has opened the heart of that chief, and he said, you can come into my two districts and go to all of the hundreds and maybe even thousands of villages and preach the gospel. We're asking for you to pray for us as we preach the gospel of Christ to Zambia and to even up further like Burundi and beyond.
Thank you so much for taking this digital tour of our display table. God bless you. Continue praying for us.